Okay, this is an overview of uh, the intubation procedure. Uh, after you introduce yourself and explain uh, the procedure that you're going to do and give the consent, and uh, uh, make sure that you assess the airway. Uh, the airway assessment is uh, comprised of uh, several things. Technically, you need to focus on the difficult to ventilate and difficult to intubate uh, uh, predictors. So for the difficult to ventilate, you can mention the bones uh, mnemonic for the uh, Beard, obesity, etc. And for the difficult to intubate, you need to focus on the three things the thyromental distance, which is from the chin up to thyroid cartilage, uh, the opening of the mouth, which should be about two uh, fingers, and the, whether the, there is any subluxation in the jaw joint. These are the three things. The other thing is to check for the, uh, the, the mouth, if there is any absence of teeth, if there is uh, the uvula is. Uh, uh, the base of the uvula is there, the pillars of the palatine tussle, etc., the malin patty score. So you need to assist that patient. After you assist their way and the patient is uh, uh, easy to intubate or uh, predicted to be easy to intubate, uh, you make sure of the, uh, uh, the equipments that you're going to have. Uh, this is the plate. Uh, the size of the plate is MAC3, which is the, for the adult size. Make sure it's working. So the blade is working. Uh, this is the amber bag. And... Uh, this is the, uh, the LMA, and we have the tube, okay. and this is the tube, okay? The tube size, this is uh, an adult size, which is 8 millimeter in diameter, and this is the readings of the tube, uh, the depth of the tube, the length of the tube itself, okay? Uh, make sure that the tube is, uh, uh, the balloon is working by... Uh, Inflating and deflating the balloon. Okay. So you can make sure. So it's need to inflate it gradually and deflate it completely. Okay. After that, uh, we have the equipment. We have uh, everything. You can mention also that you, you may need the, the, the cart for difficult to intubate patient, but it's not necessary. We're going to do now the... Uh, procedure itself. So this is the blade. Uh, yeah, an important point uh, before you do the intubation is to do a pre-oxygenation ventilation. Just, just assume that you have done it, but you could simply do it and uh, ventilate the patient. You could secure the... Uh, hold on just one second. All right. So it's at the C position and take off this one. And Keep ventilating for about three minutes. And after that, after the ventilation, you don't have to do all of it, just to, uh, to demonstrate that you know it. After that, you put the patient in uh, a sniffing position, which is a flexion of the lower neck and the uh, extension of the upper neck. If the patient in that position, you hold the blade with your left hand this way, and you try to slide the blade on the tongue and push the blade away from uh, away from your uh, uh, y y y your hand, so it's going upward like it's going to the ceiling, okay? So you push the tongue, go inside, try to see, this is the tip of the vellicula, uh, the epiglottis, sorry, and you want to go into the vellicular space, which is between the tongue and the, uh, and the epiglottis. So once you go down, and you can see, now we can see the vocal cords, may not be very clear, but it's apparent. We can now intubate. We use the tube. Okay, move the plate. Then you secure it. Make sure there is resistance here, and that's it. Now, ventilate the patient and make sure that the tube is properly placed. So you can see there is a symmetrical expansion of the lungs. Make sure that you do the auscultation and uh, connect it to the monitor. And in case you want to confirm, you can do a chest x-ray, and that's it.